Is the Ultra Medical Storage Key worth 10 million rubles as an investment? Let's find out. Now, quick update, this video is intended for any EFT player to help them decide if the Ultra Medical Key is worth their time. Now, in our previous review, it was specifically geared towards average players. However, in this review and moving forward, I've worked out an equation that we can use that'll actually show you if it's gonna be worth your time. As always, if you just want the bottom line up front, the Ultra Medical Key is a fantastic investment. If you can find it and raid, keep it and use it. If you can purchase it at that high 10 million ruble price tag, buy it and use it. Stick around to find out why. I completed 26 raids with the primary goal of looting the Ultra Medical Storage Room. Now out of my 26 attempts, I was able to gain access to the loot in the room only 12 times. Out of those 12 opportunities, I safely extracted 9 times, providing a total survival rating of 34%. The total profit achieved from the nine successful extracts amounted to 4,535,885 rubles, so just over 4.5 million. That provides an average profit of 566,985 rubles. Now keep in mind this only accounts for the profit made from the direct use of the medical storage keys, so we didn't include any other loot that I found on those raids. If I continued this method, it would take 17 successful raids to cover and exceed the current 10 million ruble price tag of the key found on the market. Numbers fail to tell the entire story. As such, we must consider additional factors. I've broken them down into pros and cons so you, the viewer, can apply them to your gaming style. Later, I'll share with you how you can calculate if this key is right for you. So the first major pro is the key's location. The Ultra Medical Storage Room is located on the far southern edge of the second deck of the mall. This allows key holders to make the room a quick stop point during the beginning of their raid or a final goal when nearing extract. The room is situated above Techno and across from Tech Light. Both stores have fantastic electronics hardware, including a graphics card spawn in Tech Light. This area draws heavy fighting in the early minutes of a raid, which serves as a fantastic stage for chads and a loot filled rat grounds for the patient late game arriver. Secondly, the storage room spawns incredibly useful high tier loot. The small closet is capable of spawning lead X's, lead X, multiple defibs and ophthalmoscopes, golden stars, stims, and other vital medical equipment. Many of these items are required for quests and are incredibly challenging to find elsewhere. In addition, these items retain value if sold to traders due to a death or can be used in several high return crafts. This makes the ROI or return of investment rather high compared to most keys. The key isn't without faults, however, and the first major issue is power. The storage room is completely inaccessible if the power is not flipped on. This often results in longer raids as you'll need to run across the map and back in order to gain access. If the player is unfamiliar with interchange, this can introduce unnecessary oh, risk. My. If a key holder is lucky enough to spawn at the power plant, they should wait an extended period before flipping the switch. This prevents the immediate tech light rushers from gaining access to the ultra medical storage room. Key holders will also find themselves at a tactical disadvantage while entering, looting, and leaving the room. The hallway leading up to the door is extremely dark, which enables ambushers the perfect opportunity to strike. Once inside, the majority of the room can still be sprayed through the door, leaving only a small corner for cover. While trying to exit, the key holder is forced to repair doors that are incredibly exposed on all sides. Finally, the most influential con is the price tag. The key currently sits for 10 million rubles on the market, and although our math supports that this is a worthy investment, many average players don't have that kind of capital to invest. Our math is actually pretty simple. We're going to take the current value of the key, or how much it costs on the market right now, we're gonna divide it by that average amount of loot that we pulled from that room. So now I know I need to complete 18 raids successfully while looting that room in order to make a profit if I were to purchase it from the market right now. Now completing 18 raids in a row can be difficult, so let's put that into perspective. I'm taking those 18 raids and I'm gonna divide it by my personal survival rate. And that tells me that I actually need to attempt 53 raids on average, assuming I don't get better at the game, uh, in order to profit from this key. 
try to make it pretty plain and simple. Hopefully it's helpful for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell. And I'll see you guys next time.